making pasta carbonara in our Instapot. It's a very easy pasta dish with just a handful of ingredients. It has bacon, eggs, Parmesan cheese, water, pasta. It's so simple and some cracked black pepper. So come take a closer look. This is what it looks like. It's a light sauce on it with lots of bacon. And so come along with us and let's make some pasta carbonara. Let's take a look at the ingredients needed for this recipe. First, you're gonna need about eight ounces of spaghetti noodles, dry. 12 ounces of bacon. I'm using hickory smoked and thick bacon. Two large eggs. Parmesan cheese, about three quarters of a cup. Two tablespoons of butter. One tablespoon of olive oil. About a quarter teaspoon of cracked black pepper. And four and a half cups of water. Let's begin. The first step in this recipe is to take your pasta, break it in half, and lay it crisscross over the bottom of your Instapot pan. This, this is gonna help prevent any sticking of the pasta when it cooks. You're now gonna pour in your four and a half cups of water. And one of the tablespoons of butter. Now we put on the lid, ensure the vent is set to sealing, and we're going to turn on the pressure cooker on high by hitting manual pressure. Bring down the minutes to seven minutes. If you like your pasta a little more al dente, cook it for six minutes. Now we take the Parmesan cheese pour it into a small mixing bowl, add in our two fresh large eggs, and we're gonna mix this together. We're gonna call this our cheese and egg mixture. Once it's mixed well, put it aside. Time to cut up the bacon. I have a 24 ounce pack here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half and only use half of it. Now I'm gonna take the bacon and cut it crosswise to make little pieces that we're gonna end up sauteing in the Instapot. The bacon in this recipe is gonna be one of the boldest flavors in this pasta dish. Once the timer's done, press cancel Wait about a minute, then switch the valve to venting. We're gonna do a quick release to release the rest of the pressure. Once the pin drops, carefully remove the lid away from your face to ensure the steam does not burn you. Now I'm gonna get a measuring cup and remove about a cup of the pasta water and save it for later. we may want to use it to thin out the sauce. So now I'm going to carefully remove my liner from my Instapot and drain my pasta thoroughly. Your liner back in your pan, go ahead and add your bacon. I did have a touch of oil in there, but you really don't need much because bacon is quite fatty. And we're gonna cook this to a little bit of a crispness. Just keep cooking it until it's just slightly crispy. Now that my bacon is just about the right crispness, I'm using a paper towel to blot up some of the extra fat that has come out of the bacon. You do want some fat for the recipe, but it was too much. Once the bacon is done, we're gonna hit cancel, turn off the Instapot, and put it on a heat-proof surface, and we're gonna finish up the recipe. So we're gonna pour in our pasta and coat it evenly with all the bacon and bacon drippings that are in there. Keep coating it until everything's very well evenly coated. 
Now it's time to add in the egg cheese mixture. And the reason why we took it off the heat is because we don't want the eggs to curdle into scrambled eggs. It's going to be part of a sauce. And you don't have to worry about these eggs not being cooked because the pasta's warm enough that it's safe to eat it. It's not like eating raw eggs. So keep that in mind. Now I've added some cracked black pepper. And if you want to add more Parmesan cheese this time, you can. To me, there was just the right amount for me, but there we have it. Pasta carbonara in the Instapot. If you enjoyed this recipe, please give my video a thumbs up and comment down below. If you would like to see more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell to be informed when the next video is available. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.